Most people in Tucson are familiar with these green fig beetles, and some people call them June beetles. Uh, common names are a little confusing because different people from different regions use them differently, but uh, the, we call them fig beetles here, um, and the genus is Cotinus, uh, species of Metabolus. They're beautiful beetles. The, the bottom side is brilliant metallic green, and the top side is kind of this matte uh, velvet kind of green with a yellow fringe. Bright purpley black wings, and uh, this is one of the beetles that uh, before there were video games, the kids would entertain themselves by tying a thread to their leg and buzzing them around. <laughs> so it's, it's the original handheld video game. <laughs> The larval stage is how they spend most of their life. They're a big grub that lives in the soil, and they're, they're detritivores. They just help decompose things. So this C-shaped grub is a typical um, scarab beetle larva. And then the moving on its back like this is, is usually indicates this is a fig beetle larva. The adult stage is rather short-lived. They pupate after they've become a full-size grub, and then they emerge when the rain, rains hit and buzz around. And the only detrimental thing about them is that they attack fruits. They're called fig beetles because that's the, sort of their preference is figs, um, but they like any soft fruit like stone fruits, peaches, and plums. And in the desert, their native food is probably prickly pear fruit. But we've conveniently offered all these other buffet items in our gardens. And so that's really the only downside of this beautiful animal is, is it does eat our fruit. And it's very good at eating our fruit. So the only thing you can do is really bag the fruit if you really want your fruit in the desert. Organisms on the planet really respond to the monsoons and the moisture. And it's the time when they're happiest. And you can almost feel their glee as, you're <laughs> as the rains come. <laughs> All the animals and plants get pretty excited in the desert.